hello everyone welcome to my channel today i am sharing with you how to make aiza that's the popular gemicide this gemicide is very useful for killing harmful microorganisms in your surroundings it is really good to be able to make things like this at home you get to save money and have a lot more quantity without further ado let's get right into making aiza to make aiza at home you're going to need carboric acid which is also labeled as concentrate here this is booster this is Lysol. I'm going to put the measurement in the description box. And in one bottle here, I have pine oil and phenol. So there are two chemicals in that bottle. And here is Texapon. This is thickener. Every ingredient will be labeled for you at the chemical shop. To make Isaiah, we're going to start with the chemicals and not water. So I'm going to add Texapon in the bowl, followed by pine oil and phenol. So there are two chemicals in one bottle. You can just ask people around you for a chemical shop. That's where you're going to get everything you need for this production. You will need to mix this thoroughly till it is completely dissolved before you move to the next stage. Always, always mix. As you can see, this is properly dissolved. So I'm going to add Lysol now. This will immediately thicken the mixture and change the color. Remember, for every chemical you add, you have to mix thoroughly. Next is carboric acid, which is labeled as concentrate here. I believe this has been diluted with a bit of water to aid the mixing process. You may want to add this bit by bit for easy mixing. And once it goes in, you will see the mixture thicken and feel like pulp. Next, the booster goes in and I continue to mix thoroughly. Remember, for every chemical you add, you have to mix very well. Now I'm going to add 5 liters of water before I go in with the thickener. This is just to help with the mixing process because this should mix better with lesser quantity of water. So after adding the first 5 liters of water, I'm going to add the thickener and mix till it completely dissolves. After mixing, I added 5 more liters of water. So in total, I have 10 liters of Isa. Now you just need to stir properly and that's all. You can store this right away and use it to take care of harmful microorganisms in your surroundings. If you find this video helpful, please like and leave me a thank you in the comments. Also, please share this video so it can be of benefit to other people. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will see you very soon again in another video. Thank you for watching.